In this tutorial, I'll show an easy way to create water distortion effects using shaders. It's a great way to add some animations and nice effects only using code. Let's start in a new project and create a sprite. I'll just name it example and save it. Let's use the default icon that comes with every project and then create a shader. Most water distortion shaders are based around using things like sine waves in one way or another, so let's start as basic as possible and add a simple wave effect to the sprite. Here amplitude controls the height of the wave, and frequency controls the frequency of the wave. We can also add in a speed variable to control the speed of the wave. So some basics aside, let's start making it more interesting. We could create a second wave. And if we comment out the first wave and name this, and we just flip X and Y, we would see that it would switch direction. And with that, we could blend the two waves and it's starting to look a little bit more interesting. From here, the best way to make it more interesting is just to play around a bit with the variables. For example, right now both waves use the same input variables, but if they would use different ones, it already adds some uh, variation to the image. You could also change up uh, this, it doesn't have to be sign, and there is uh, a lot of ways you could just play around with this and see what happens. My current favorite setup is this one. I just think it uh, looks really nice. Whether you use this or the previous one, or change it up to your own version. One last thing we haven't done is change these to uniform variables instead, so they can be changed in the editor instead. And that's some simple water distortion. 